The Great Temple in Oh, That's right, the one we were just there, yeah. Yeah, that it's one. It's these guys. Yeah, way over there. That they yeah, there was a there was a conflict over there that we said, Yeah, we'll help you with and then we never did anything about it and it's still going on. I mean they have a thing going on. I think that's good for them. It's nice having a hobby, right? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Imperator Rome stream. As always, I am your community manager, Troy, and with me again is Joachim. Uh, we are still working on our Macadon run. Uh, we're working on Thrace as we did last time, uh, just to give you guys kind of an idea where we are. Um, Joachim, would you go ahead and remind everyone who you are and what you do, please? Yes, uh, hello, I'm Joachim. Uh, I am one of the content designers on uh, Imperator Rome that is working in Stockholm. We're in the middle of two wars. We we're are. in the war with Thrace, which are, you know, the green ones here. Yep. And then we're in war with uh, a revolt, because Bithynia is currently fighting with Thrace. So any revolt yep. that happens in Bithynia, we're going to also be pulled in. Yep. Uh, so we are at war with these guys, but they're probably going to disappear because, you know, they're a revolt. And they're probably going to be eaten up by the actual Bithynia. Yep. So yep. Here's, here's helping. Be... Yeah, it's probably going to work out just fine. Uh, we have... An 11k army up there, which is on its mm -hmm. way down, and a 16k army here. And we have these two guys that we have to fight and sort of retake this area. If they don't run away again, because that's exactly what happened last time when we were last week. Apparently that's Moesha, so it's these guys up here. Yep. So what I'm considering is to keep this army sort of in this area, so yeah. when they sort of, you know, flee back to their home country, you can sort of keep them away from this area, yeah. because they don't want them to start entering too much again and fuck things up so yeah then exactly. we're just going to bring this army uh we'll focus on taking out these two armies and sort of retake the rest of um thrace that's left and then we will probably grab the area that is like this yep thrace can sort of keep the area up here i don't really care too much about it um there's sort of two ways you can do this right you can i sort of prefer having a very fortified area yep so either we can put forts here and sort of use uh where's the foot death that's the one uh so we can sort of set a fort here yeah. and then we can sort of stop everything from passing over here exactly or we can do it through the rivers which is basically you can't pass over anywhere except right. like the passings right? right so you can put a fort there and a fort there and you know sort of um fortify that way well luckily all these rivers uh, are very well placed for us right now so i think that would probably be our best bet i think we're just going to take like this area first yep and then we're just sort of going to leave it at that um and let's just start off and see what happens. Rock and roll. Oh, now there's a 1.4k army. Hi, guys. How's it going? They split them oh, up. Oh, yeah. They just keep sending, like, mediocre, useless armies over here. That's not, sadly, not a surprise. No, no. Uh, who are you and should I care? You don't seem oh, very no. important. Uh, but he does. Apparently, he was our Trophius. I'm not yes. entirely sure what that is. Royal tutor and overseer yep. of the education. That's not that important, though, is it? Yeah, uh, you know, just... we don't need smart people. Let's I'm, go with the guy that has 31. Uh, Oof. Uh, wow, this guy's 16 years old. Um, I think this is a good yeah. choice. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're not very loyal. Do you want to keep, you know, how about yeah. a job? How do you feel about that? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's great. Hey, thanks, guys. Now I have a job. Wait. No. And let's see. Stockpile disappears. Just a reminder, a we are a ruling baby right now. We are a baby in oh, charge. Yes. I've forgotten about that, but we are indeed a ruling baby. Yes. We're one year old, and we're, you know, really doing our best. We're Not that great. that matters too much. We're, we're doing um, so good. Here's a fun fact about this event. This is the event in the game with the most bug fixes applied to it. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So there, well, there's like a series of these like food right. runs. Right. And uh, they had some problems at the start and kept being fixed. Well, at least they're fixed now. Yes. Um, let's see. Increase loyalty. They gain some food. We lose some money. We do actually have quite a lot of money. We do. It's sort of been just sort of like Amassing it's been slowly wealth. ticking up because we haven't really used it on much. Well, and we so, also got that gold mine last time, so that really helped. So I think we're just going to spend the money, yes. keep the loyalty, and keep the food because yes. I like food. Perfect. Um, let's see. What is this? Exiled armies. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. we were tossed out of the war, and I didn't even yeah. notice. Yeah, look at that. That sucks. 
We were busy oh. reading events. How sad. Yeah, no. I basically, because they retook the area, I didn't actually think they grabbed all of it, but apparently they did, so the war those ended. Little tiny, the those, those little tiny armies just... Hmm. Mm. That is sad. How I actually embarrassing. Didn't that. How embarrassing. Yes, no, I'm actually quite embarrassed. I That should not have happened. Um, I no. mean, that's too bad, though, but it happens. Um, on the bright side, Thrace is sort of down in the dirt and they're not going to come back anytime soon. Right, so we can just wait a few years and then just declare another war. Welcome back. Yeah, exactly. We don't actually have to care too much about them anymore. Now that they're sort of, you know... They don't Ooh. have manpower, and they don't yeah. have an army. And <laughs> sure, they, they get money, so they can sort of buy mercenaries, but that's not really the way to have, like, a good no. permanent power, no, that's, right? That's, so. that's, not, that's not longevitous. Let's see. We have received an envoy sent by Archon Artemidotos? Artemid Artemid yeah, I think that's mm. good enough. Ruler of a subject, Eretria. He offers our ruler, Basileus Cassandros II, his personal friendship. Mm. Um, I suppose. I mean... That's popularity, though we don't have a lot of popularity. We're a kid, right? Uh, I think we just see. The thing is, he—I don't really care too much about no. his opinion. No. But I do care about being popular. So if we can sort of say, you know, uh, fuck it, and tell we, him to go. We are the strongest baby in charge right now. I mean, they're—they're they're these guys, right? They're yeah. this tiny little nation, and we're like, you know, we're, we might be a baby, but we're a big nation nonetheless. So we don't need that. Um, little ruler. Big Empire. I mean, we can send the general. We don't actually need a general right no, now, so don't. that's fine. We, um, we, we have our. To send our... We, yeah, we 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 don't need a general, but we don't have a general because that was us and we died. Yes. So we're going to send our ships over here, uh, pick up our army, and if I recall correctly, we started looking at yeah, eating we were. up. Yep. Achaia last time. Yep. Um So. Uh, I think we might be able to just jump down there. And the nice thing is that all of our subjects is sort of in this area. Right. I don't actually know how many... Oh, they don't have a lot of troops at all. So they're no, not no, actually yeah. that yeah. useful. They're like, hey, I have like one cohort. I have zero. Yeah. And I also have one. It's like, what are you good for then? You're like the most useless bunch of subjects I've ever seen in my life. Embarrassing. This is, this is just sad. Uh, let's see. Any hope for new start dates in the future? Um, so here's a fun fact for you. I am one of the few people who have actually made, like, um, start dates. I made it for CK2 back in the day. Ooh. And it's like a nightmare in how much work it actually is. Yeah. It would probably be less work in Imperator, just for the sake that we could have kept a lot of, like, the population data and stuff like that, and not had to add, like, thousands of characters. Yeah. Um, but it is still, like, a lot of work. It's very, very time-consuming. And for a lot of our games, you've seen that it's not actually very useful because a lot of people still play on, you know, the original start dates. Right. So I think that's also a question of how much uh, special things you add, right? If you can only get a thing in one start date, people who want that thing is going to go to that start date, right? right. But if it doesn't matter where you are, then it, yeah, it doesn't matter. So... Yeah, another Olympiad come and gone promise anything but um i think the thing that's important to remember that's a lot of work just that it, we don't have a system for start dates in um in Broadway at all like unlike ck3 we don't have a system for actually choosing yeah. between different start dates so we would have to make a system for that and then we would have to actually add all the data which would be an undertaking very time consuming yeah yeah it would it would be like properly time consuming you're looking at like CD work for probably a couple of months in addition to like the programmer work needed and right. the UX work and everything. It's like there's a lot of like things, right? Um, right. Well, I well, think it would be handy, but I don't think uh, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. Right. But that's my personal opinion. Um, While we're here, do we want to drill our armies in here or do we want to just let them hang out? Uh, I think we're going to let's see. These guys are have some experience. These guys have more experience. So what I'm thinking is that we start a war down here. Right. And how are we going to do this? Um, we probably want both the armies because if you take a quick look at this, we both have like a couple of people we're going to pull in, right? Yeah. But as yeah. we've seen, most of our people are useless apparently. Right. So we're going to have to accept that if we fight this war. Um, 
we are probably going to do it mostly ourselves. We're not going to get a lot of aid and not going to get a lot of help. Right, but at the same time, we far outnumber anybody in that region. We probably do outnumber them. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Why do you have two? Let's have a look at these people. Hello. Uh, it Hello. Told you. you have zero. Uh, who else do we have here? Ellis. You three. have three. Mm, interesting. Lepion has four. four. So I expect them to have like maybe like five or six each, but actually they're weaker than I expected. Uh, let's, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think we're going to sort to of say. bring this army down and see if we can just sort of march down here. Mm -hmm. We're going to ask our buddies in Boisha. Do they even like Sinmore? They don't like Sinmore. No, not at all. I, I remember breaking an alliance there yeah. now that I think about yep. it. Uh, so, how are we going to do this? Uh, Etolia, it's these guys. All right, so these guys are going to be brought in. And Ellis is down there. Leprion is where's Leprion? we also called in like two thirds of these guys in our in our oh, previous geez. war and they just lost so hard and that's I mean like it's kind of our fault that they don't have any armies or manpower but you know what that was an accident we didn't mean to do that oh right I I had forgotten yeah. about these guys yeah these are like uh, the army that our uh, yep. uncle made yep. he was like hey I'm sort of angry but I'm actually also sort of loyal so I guess yeah. not. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use this army to sort of... We actually want to not, not have this army because I, you know, he has raised yeah. them. I don't entirely trust them, so... Um, you there, person that we definitely trust. Go fight our war for us. <laughs> so we're going to use you for all it's worth and actually... I think we're going to grab this army and then we're going to send it over here. So we'll take this fort and this fort at the same time and then we'll use these guys. And we'll try to sort of grab... You know, bring them to Corinthus right. and then we can sort of push upwards at the same time. So we're going to start off with these guys. Uh, and before we start the war, we're just going to, you know, send them all the way to Corinthus. And yep. then we don't have to, you know, be afraid of any, like, naval battles or anything of the like. A few days uh, later, they will be there. No big deal, right? And then we're going to bring this guy, I guess, back in as a general before he starts marching. And... Probably a good idea to, like, you know, actually assign somebody to lead the army while it's doing army things. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, it's not a big deal right now, but I have a bad tendency to sort of forget, right? Yeah. You sort of sit there and you're like, okay, I have these, like, ten things I have to do at the same time. And then um, you, you do eight of them and you're like, that was it, that's all we had. And then your army gets there and it doesn't have a general and you're like, oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's like, no. you're like, oh, right. It's like, you know, earlier when we d sort of didn't, wasn't, you know, when we weren't in this war anymore, I was like, oh, yeah, that's the thing I forgot about. I should remember that. Uh, but that's fine. It's it's all right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, it's we're, we're figuring it out as we go. It's all right. All our allies with yeah. one, you know, 1k troops each. <laughs> well, they're bravely, <laughs> bravely marching forth. So I guess, you know, I'm not too mad. I mean, at least they're fighting for us rather than against us, so all things right. considered, I, I'll take that, if that's, like, the two options. Yep. Yep, yep. And they, I mean, they have, like, 3,000, 5,000, 1,000, so, I mean, still, all combined, they have, what, 9,000, I think? Have... No? I, oh, there no, we go. There's their allies. A... They called their allies in. There we go. That's, that's, that's a decent army that we have to maybe worry about in a bit. Oh, except for you didn't wait for your allies. Here we are. I see. It seems to be working out, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, depends on, yeah, oh. that's what I was worried about, was that those allies coming across. I, I, I think it's going to work out, maybe. Yeah. Famous last words. Yeah, well. I mean, we're still, we still have these, right? So even if we lost that battle, it would have been completely fine. I don't yeah. think it's going to be a big deal. Yeah. Uh, well, like yes, I said, they, they keep not waiting for their allies, and yeah, there's sort of like a bunch Trickling of like minor. Um... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dime or Olympia? I well, think... so there's a there's a question in chat that you may be able to uh, answer better than anybody else. Yes, sure. The, the, Go for it. How many parts of the system of Imperator do content designers work on besides events, of course? So, what does your 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 basic workflow or some of the team's basic workflow do you do you handle multiple segments or is it just one specific per person? So, I mean, we rarely do several things at once, but we do touch actually quite a bit of uh, elements in the game. So, uh, these buttons, for example, that would be content design. Yeah. Uh, 
it was actually Arheo back when he was still a content designer who made most of these. Um, let's see, religion. I mean, like the base setup is code and uh, art and everything, but right. like all the deities, all of the text that's written, uh, the modifiers, the treasures, um, the holy signs. That would be entirely content design. Um, the decisions here would be content design. Um, what else is content design? Um, these are actually not content design, which has mm. annoyed me for a long time because I want them to be scriptable, but they are not. Right. Um, character interactions, uh, these are content design. Uh, missions are, of course, content design. You have decisions, you have events, you have the map itself. Uh, we don't actually make, like, the art of it. That's, of course, like, 3D right. art, but, right. uh, like, hey, where's the line going to be drawn? What does it look like? What um you know what area is it part of what yeah. region is it part of yeah. um what countries are startup um uh, what you know what alliances do they have stuff like that that's right. all an um uh, content design work and it can get quite um quite a lot you know because if you keep in mind that like this whole map is not it's not something we have found anywhere right this is made from scratch right there is someone just sat down and you know carved out every province yeah. and every area and put down everything right so it is actually quite a lot of work all things put get put together i know that uh twin Tragula and arheo are the ones who have done most of like the original map work and then top mist and i have done most of the map work that's happened post uh yep. launch of the game yep and I, I think map work is a lot of fun, but it's like one of the things that's fun in moderation. It's not fun if you do it all the time right, every right. week. Burning and grinding constantly. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not fun being, you know, having to sit down every day and carve out, you know, 40, 50, 60 provinces yeah. and do that thing. Yeah. Um, so, gone, yeah, no, it yeah. is. Yeah, Eretria tries to, like, they want every to be time, friends with us. And really, they're yeah. just like, no. You have like you have one yeah. cohort, and you're practically useless. We only yeah. grabbed you because we didn't want you to be part of. Oh, exactly. there's an revolt over here. I didn't yeah. see that. Uh, yeah, that w they they declared that a long time ago, but we haven't really been keeping up with it. Um, the silicon. No, after like pushing the Antigonus yeah. out of Greece, you were like, okay, we're done with you now. You are over here now. This is yeah. your realm. Well, they we're started in, fighting you know. the the Selikids, and that went really poorly for them. And it was just like you were watching it on the periphery, like uh. What's going on over there? Is something happening? <laughs> so. I mean, I think it's fine. I don't mind that they're, uh, you know, uh, dying. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to just sort of um, collapse these two armies on them at the same time, if yep. we can. And hope maybe even this one as well, just to really crush them. Yep. Um, yeah, oh, they saw us coming and they ran away. <laughs> they see us rolling. Um, they hate. So they do. And that's Let's all see. we can get away with without copyright infringement. Right. So yeah. Eretria is going here to die, and they can't stop anymore because they've moved too far. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I, I feel so. Oh, they actually survived that. That's... Oh, oh, nice. They actually managed to dodge it. Wow. Yeah, we are getting like... really, really bad rolls up in Caledon. We are. I don't think... So, how are we going to go about this? So I think we're going to sort of try and collapse on them if they move in there. Yeah. Uh, or just like leave one of our forces in Olympia. There we go. So I think we're just going to do like this and this. And we're going to see if like these two are enough to take them out. I think yeah. they should be. Um, and then... Second army. Bad news, guys. Second army. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah. Oof. Oof. So Got some bad news. More than right. Ta-da. Go by. Go by. They Goodbye. lost less soldiers than I hoped for, to Goodbye, be honest. Those guys. Yeah, they they were well built for that fight, but still. Let's see. Uh, while we're you know eating people, let's also grab this. Ellis, you're now yep. our part of the world. Um, which is sort of is nice us. because now we have the fort from Ellis, yep. sort, of, sort of by default. Yep. And, and this is by ours. the fort. And this is ours. Um, and this is ours. And when we grab this, I guess we can sort of eat Aetolia as well. If um, if we ever grab that, the worst rolls. Why Ooh. is spot up? Oh, it's purple because it's old siege town. Yeah, that's why I was Ooh. like, purple is not the like natural color of yeah. spot. It's like it's a little bit closer. It's like oh right, it's because yep. they're at war with someone. Yeah, I see, I see. They're probably at war with Megalopolis. And um... if we ever capture Caledon, oh just.
So I think, do we want this part as well? I mean, we're we're sort of on a roll, right? Yeah, we're already there, so we might as well. It's also a really naturally defended area, so if we could just keep going. I mean, as we as we're sort of looking at right now, we're sort of getting this whole chunk here, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So we can actually just sort of, if we want, oh, Caledon is ours. Sweet. Oh, uh, then we're going to wait. What? Why is? He told they're no longer part of the war. They dropped out and surrendered. How embarrassing. So, my theory, I don't know if it's right or not, is I know that uh, I told there was in a revolt, and I believe since mm. we sort of took everything, the revolt won, and they're like, oh yeah, we're buddies, right? And I'm like, yeah. um, yeah. I, did, yeah, that makes I sense. didn't want to be buddies, but all right then. Um, but that's fine. Oh, that's who, that's who surrendered. Okay, because I saw somebody surrendered, and it was like, yes, who I surrendered? Think so. <laughs> Oh. So that means you're only at war with Achaea and Leprion. So we yeah. we have Achaea and then Leprion. Achaea is like the main one, yep. so we don't want to take them yet. So we'll just take Leprion and then Achaea. Yep. And for the future, I think we'll just look at building some claims on Sparta yep. and some claims on Argos. And I actually want this part. Yeah. So to be... Because then we sort of have, we can sort of you know take the whole area and then we can sort of collapse on it and then yep. we hold all of the Peloponnese. I think that's fine. Which is exactly what we want. And then we can go and deal with weakened Thrace. Yes, in the long distant future. How is Thrace doing anyways? No, they don't have manpower, great. but they have a couple of cohorts now and they're in the middle of a war with Getian to Getia. So yeah, that's, that's fine. Like... That's have fun with your war, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh. It's so I have a hard time seeing this guy going up on a podium and speaking, but all right. Yes. As the ruler of the one true successor to the great empire of Alexander. Toddler speech. Toddler speech. Cassandra Toddler II speech. Steps up on a podium in front of your countrymen and court to deliver an inspiring speech. He brings up the many empowering properties of the old conqueror, but he decides to bring up one topic in particular. Um. So yes. what do our toddler really want to speak about? Yeah. Do we care about the great campaigns, uh, the many systems uh, that Alexander put into place? Uh, you know, the syncretic Hellenistic mindset where yep. he sort of brought people together to get some political influence, or his deification as a you know as hmm. a god? I, it really depends on I what mean, we want. I mean, we're doing we're not doing bad on anything really. We're doing bad on manpower. I have actually not yeah. noticed until now, but we yeah. have 150 in manpower. Uh, I think we're going to care about the great campaigns Hooray, then. Great campaigns it is, uh, I I did not notice we were running out of manpower. That is not yeah, well, it was. All. Yeah, we, we weren't until this war. We were fine, then we declared yeah. war, and it was like, oh no. Oh no, water shortage and food shortage? No. Done. Then we will eat you guys. Nom 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 nom. Let's nom, nom, nom. Oh yeah, no, that's nom, nom, nom. we're rolling over them literally. Woof, that's that's awful. You say awful, I say great. I, I mean, think it's a matter of perspective. I think I, I think we're using <laughs> the the original definition of awful. I see. Wow. Right. Right. See, I I'm not like a native like you know uh, English speaker, right? So I, yeah, I don't think about yeah. stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we'll eat with we'll start with you guys and we'll numb you guys. Thank you. And Come again. And then we'll eat the other. Let's and see. And thank you. Come again. That should mean that we should get a, a little bit of food as well. Because yeah. now we actually have like a I believe there was in There we are. Yep. Try. They have yep. some food. Perfect. And yes. Give us all of your food. You are ours now. Then this one has food, which is sort of what I wanted to do next. Wait, did somebody did somebody capture Lucatron down there? Uh, captured what? Lucatron. Yeah. Oh no, it was the it was our allies. Okay. Yeah, I saw it was purple earlier. I was like, oh what? yes, uh, I believe that was uh, Megalopolis that was also at war with them, but we just grabbed it all. From right, them. right, right. Um, let's have a look. We can take Achaea, but that means we're going to fight everyone. I don't know if everyone is scary though. Yeah. Three troops. No. no. Three. Four. four uh, two, two. One. One. Three. three two. two. It, it's not like none of them are like super scary. No. Um, no. But none I of them are. If we can, what if we jump from this side instead? They only have three allies Ooh. then, and we can at least grab out Sparta first. There you go. Because it's, it's, yeah. it's sort of like you know, 
it's a little bit of like a puzzle, right? So if you grab these guys, then you have to fight Sparta and right. everyone else. Right. But if you attack from this side, you can just grab Sparta first, and then you don't have to fight them later on. Yes. And we're also sort of we're in the area, right? So yeah. why not? Yeah. Uh, we'll grab a claim on these guys, and oh, these provinces are empty. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I guess they've uh, been happened. fighting a lot of them. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how that happened. Just gonna drink my water here. And I think we're going to actually remove one of our armies or do something about one of our armies because right now we're sort of we do have that one that, money. Yeah, we we do have that one army that we think is going to turn against us. Which, which was that this one. one. Yep, that was the one. Goodbye to your army, sir. I mean none of the guys are loyal to him besides one. Yeah. Let's see, they wanna go they become loyal veterans, that's fine. I think we're just going to say goodbye to these guys then. Yeah. We don't really need more troops than we already yeah. have, and then they're not going to accidentally eat up a bunch of manpower. So. Right, right, which was where we were headed, ultimately. Now that we fixed it, it's not yes. too terrible. Also, we can just so, we can just roll through all all of these territories down here without a problem. It looks we're like we're going to keep one of the armies in reserve, and then we're going to send the big one forward. Yeah, and then we're going to eat Sparta. Goodbye. Actually, don't we have? Didn't I make? A claim on you guys. I thought you did. I did. Yeah, way. Well, no, no, that was that was our our previous ruler. He died. Mm. Yeah, he he died. <laughs> I'm sad now. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can just wait it out. Then it's not like it's going to take a lot of time. It's like in a year. Yep. So yep, we yep, can wait yep. out a year. We're not that power hungry. No, not at all. You're almost that power hungry, but not quite that not power quite. hungry. Oh man, just look at all these different nations that are just in our way. How embarrassing. Why are you guys angry at us now? Ellis Diamond Pelene. Ellis. Let's have a look. Unrest. Mm. Why are you unrest? Yeah. Unhappy Pops. Well, that's, that's too bad. You're going to do fine, I think. Um... If we want to change our governor policy, uh, encourage oh, trade. Is that not already what I had? Oh, it is what I had. Yeah, it is oh, what you had. Then we're just going. To... Oh, then we're just going to um, just just encourage them. trade. We don't. We need. We need more trade. Yes, that's that's what we need, right now. What else? I actually also want uh, a claim on you guys. I actually wanted to eat you guys earlier, but you sort of dodged yeah. my. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My attempts at eating you because I, I, you know, it's a little bit awkward not having a route down here. Yeah. Because now we're sort of split into two, right? I, I sort of want a land route that I can cross over for the future. Uh, I think we're just going to increase the speed. Sacking of Persephone Temple. Oh no. Where's the Temple of Persephone? Oh no. The Great Temple in. Oh That's right. That's the one it's... we were just there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. It's one's... these guys. Yeah, way over there. Here. That. They yeah there was a there was a conflict over there that we said yeah we'll help you with and then we never did anything about it and it's still going on. I mean they have a thing going on. I think that's good for them. It's nice having a hobby, right? Let's. I mean we're not going to actually go down here, so I think we're right. just going to eat yeah. Sparta and yeah. call that the end of. I think that's uh, our our day support. for the day is just just crushing that and then. Yeah, we'll just, I think you we're know. actually. Uh... Uh, we're we're gonna get to a point where that. Sparta is just all alone in the mountain pass by themselves, no See, food. The or... thing is, yeah, no, this these guys aren't Sparta anymore. Sparta doesn't own Sparta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, Megalopolis yeah, no, was like, it's... "Don't mind us. We'll just this is ours now." We already have claims on this. You know what? If we already have claims on it and we're sort of in the area, right. why don't we just drop by then? Yeah, we'll just say hi. Just you know. Knock knock. Do you have some eggs? Yeah, no. It's you know. We heard you had like um, a bit too much of Sparta, so we yeah. figured we'd drop by and get some of it. And we just we'll just take a cup of this. Don't mind us. Uh, you want an office, and I am a little bit scared of you actually, because you have. Yeah. Actually, you don't. You don't have a power base. No, he doesn't. Uh, but I'm st I'm still going to give you an office because I'm a nice guy, which means I'm not caring. Isn't that our heir? Is that not our heir? Who do we who do we have as an I heir? I think right he now? might be. You're going to be in charge of this navy. Congratulations. There Hooray! you go. You now. I don't actually remember if that. That actually is our counts heir. Yeah. Um, let's see. 
Yes, he is. Oh, we're actually having hair now. See? Hooray! We're progressing. Our, our we're, air uh... has hair. Um. Uh, it's... That was just bad. Well, Even I didn't like well, that one. Yeah. Sorry, that was kind of a hairy joke. Okay, you're sort of making up for it now. There you go. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'll just keep pelting you with these hair jokes. Um, but I think we're actually going to end it there. I think. Yeah, I Instead think I think that's a good spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of starting with a new, our, uh... our save going there. I think that's the. We're running out of time here, guys. You know, I would love to sit and game with you all week, all day, all month, all year. Um, but we are running. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think poor Yoka might get a little little chair sore for a while if we stay down here you know for a week on stream so i mean i already feel like sort of like this little goblin sitting in my apartment all day hello you i know, would like to play sort of, yeah yeah you guys got any cheetos <laughs> uh so yeah no you're not wrong yeah but no it was it was fun as always Joachim, thank you very much uh i'm happy to be here yeah man it's 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 a blast uh hopefully we will see you next week i think that's the plan I think that's what we're aiming for, so that should be good. Uh, for those of you in the community, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, we will definitely, you know, be here on stream next week. Hopefully it'll be me and Joachim, but I will definitely be here. Uh, in the meantime, we do have a DD coming out next week, so look up for our dev diary early next week. Uh, we will keep you updated in the community. Joachim, thank you as always. Community, thank you. Have a great week. We'll see y'all later.